You ever wonder how a muscle contract? Hmm? Let's start our journey from when the action potential, that's the electrical signal from the motor neuron, arrives at the motor end plate on the muscle myofibril. When the action potential from the motor neuron travels down the T-tubules, it causes calcium to be released from the sarcoplastic reticulum. Calcium is released from the sarcoplastic reticulum, which is the calcium store, in the muscle. It surrounds the myofibrils in each muscle cell. And it's been given as a snowball. Actin is an important protein chain. It is one of the second important myofilaments involved in muscle contraction. The blue parts of actin represents its binding site. This is the binding site of the actin. All true punin snowman becomes active when it catches the calcium snowball. Hi, my name is tropomyosin. I am a protein that is stuck to actin. I look a bit like a rope and I cover the acting binding sites. I do this when the muscle is relaxed. And when I cover the binding sites, the muscle myofilaments cannot shorten and so the muscle cannot contract. Oh dear. When troponin pulls away, the tropomyosin rope expose the acting binding site. Let's look at another key player in all of this myosin. Myosin is a thick protein. It sits just beside actin. And it has a series of what look like tadpoles attached to it. These tadpole heads are super important as they can actually move. So what does all this mean, Dave? So, now we know all the parts. How does it all work? How does myosin move actin? Oh, this excitement is killing me. <laughs> to move these myosin heads requires energy. So, where does this energy come from? There is a molecule called ATP, and this is an energy molecule. When it is broken down by an enzyme called ATPase, the energy stored in the ATP is released so the myosin head can move what is left is ATP. The myosin head is in the cut position ready to bind to actin. As ATP3 is used to change the angle configuration of the myosin head, it now has to wait until the actin binding site becomes exposed. As soon as the actin binding site becomes exposed, the high energy myosin head leaps into action, forming a co cross bridge between myosin and actin. As soon as myosin binds to actin, the myosin head uses that energy molecule, ATP. As myosin uses that energy, it changes shape and it moves through the power stroke, pulling the acting molecule towards the M line. We will come back to this one. After the power stroke, the myosin head is exhausted. It has used up the energy, but the cross bridge stays in place. So we need another energy molecule of ATP. This releases the myosin head from actin and returns to its high energy cock position ready for the next power stroke. So this process happens constantly when the muscle is moving. When the muscle is relaxed, the binding sign is covered. And when troponin releases calcium, the tropomyosin protein exposes the binding site, so myosin will come into place because ATP is released to give it energy, so it will come in the cock position to move actin to the M line. 
And this was a narration of the sliding filament. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.